In this video, I show you how to remove a virus from Windows 11. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. If you're getting pop-ups and other weird things happening on your computer, then there's a chance you may have a virus on your computer or ransomware, which you need to go and remove. So to do that, there's a few different methods. I'll be showing you two of how I would go and do it. So the first way I like to use is Windows Defender. This means you don't need to download anything more. We can actually just go and use the built-in software on our computer. To do that, go and tap on the Windows button in the bottom taskbar like so, and then go and open up settings. If you can't find them, you can always go and tap on type here to search and go and search for settings. Then what you need to do is go on to left hand side and tap on privacy and security like so. Then at the top, go and tap on Windows Security, and here we are. As you can see, we've got all these different protection areas. So in this case, go and tap on Virus and Threat Protection. Then you're going to go and get another pop-up. Now, mine is going to go and look different to yours because I actually have a different antivirus software installed. Um, so if you do as well, then you can always go and use that. But if you don't have another antivirus installed, you're going to have a sort of a screen here with a scan button. And all you want to do is go and tap on scan. And then Windows Defender is going to go and scan your computer for any viruses and try and remove them. So it's worth doing that. However, if that doesn't work, then all you want to do is go and open up a web browser. And we can actually go and use another free software. So there's a free software I'm going to show you called Malwarebytes. So go and open up any web browser and any search engine and go and search for Malwarebytes. Now, there is a paid version of this tool, but there also is a free one. And I'm pretty sure that there's a trial um, of the paid version as well. So we can always go and make use of that to go and remove this virus. So make sure you go to the official website, which is malwarebytes.com and wait for it to load. Then, as you can see, we've got this free download button here. So go and tap on that or you can tap on free download in the top right as well. Then it should start downloading pretty quickly, as you can see in the top right. So you can always go and find your downloads in your file explorer. So I'm going to go and open that up now. Open your file explorer and then go to your downloads. And then what you need to do is go and run the MB setup file, which stands for Malwarebytes. You're going to go and get a Windows Cootie pop-up. Unfortunately, I can't record that. But anyways, here we are on the setup wizard. So go and tap install like so. And then once it's finished installing, Malwarebytes should automatically launch. If it doesn't, you can always go and search your computer for it. And then once the app opens, it's really easy to use. There's going to be a scan button. Simply go and click on that. And then it's going to go and start scanning your computer for viruses, ransomware, and everything bad. And then it's going to go and list it all. And you can go and remove it if it detects anything. If that still isn't working, then what you can do is quite drastic, is to go and restore your computer uh, sort of back to, um, to factory settings. So before you do that, I, rec I recommend backing up any files you may want. And then what you can do is go and open up your settings once again. So we'll just go and search for settings and open it up. And then you can go and tap on recovery like so. And then as you can see, we've then got the option to reset this PC. Tap on reset this PC and you've got two options here. To be honest, if you've got a virus, I recommend removing everything. Um, and that's going to go and remove the virus as well. But remember, it's also going to remove all your files as well. So that last option is pretty drastic. Hopefully one of the first two is going to work for you. 